Welcome to Eagle Springs in Centerville, Georgia. My name's Van Adams. We're going to talk a little bit about water here this morning. We're going to talk about chlorine a little bit today and explain to you some of the things that I think you need to know about it. And then we're going to show you how you can have your own little bottled water producing factory in your own house right at your own sink. So when you drink that fresh, clean water and cook in it, uh, it's water that has just been purified seconds before you put it into the cooking pan or before you put it into your, yourself to drink. A lot of people pull their water that they drink from lakes, places like Atlanta, Georgia, and many others. And sometimes they take that water and they purify it with chlorine and various other chemicals, and then they ship it through pipes that go out to your homes. And over a period of time, those pipes will deteriorate. Sometimes, like down in Columbus, Georgia, where I used to live, we had years of pipes that had been there, and they determined at one time when they were doing some construction, they found wooden pipes under the ground. The water had been running through for years. And that's the beauty part about not having to worry about city water or county water like this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some water in two glasses. This is tap water. We've, uh, our water purifier is not connected under the sink. This is just tap water right from the city. Now, what I'm going to ask my granddaughter to do, her name is Ansley. Ansley, say hello. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to have Ansley put one of her hands in one of these glasses of water for just a minute or so. Let's see, you want to use that hand? Okay, let's use that hand. And what we're going to do here, we're going to show you the difference in these two glasses of water once Ansley has taken her hand out of there. And what happens when you, or, you know, you're in a shower or you're, when you're exposed to chlorine like we just saw down at the pool down there, your body absorbs a lot of chlorine. Now chlorine, most people don't know this, but it's got trihalomethanes in it, but a lot of people do know that chlorine uh, does cause cancer. It's proven fact. Trihalomethanes will cause cancer. Now we're going to do our test. Now I'm going to take a little chlorine. I'm going to put five drops in each one of these bottles. We're going to do it again right here. We got one, two, three, four, five. All right. Five drops in each glass. Now keep in mind while you're looking at these two glasses, and I want to put them up here where you can really get a good view of them. This is the one that Ansley had her hand in. This is the one that she did not have her hand in. Now, let me ask you a question, folks. Can you see the difference here? Can you see the difference there? This is almost yellow, and this shows no color at all. And the reason why is all the chlorine that was in this glass right here went into her hand in that just short period of time of about a minute. Think about what happens to you if you take a 15 minute shower and you have warmed up, your pores have opened up in your skin, and you're absorbing all that chlorine in your body. We now know that chlorine is a necessity in some places like uh, this town right here. They don't have a hosination uh, system out here to purify the water. There's a few cities in America that do, such as Los Angeles, and uh, I think Tacoma, Washington, and maybe a few others, but most places still purify their water with chlorine. Now, when that chlorine goes into that water and they purify it, they send it through a lot of pipes to go through the ground and have been in the ground for years. And by the time it gets here to your sink, ladies and gentlemen, there's not real, really any telling what's exactly in that water. And I don't know about you, but I'd much rather have my water purified right under that sink where the water purifier is, wouldn't you? So that when it comes out of that faucet right there, that it's already pure and clean. That's what we're going to use. The water coming out of there that's been purified to cook on our stove, to put in our refrigerator, to drink, and to, to put in our bodies. We're also going to take shower heads. In this bathroom in here, we're going to have, we have a handheld shower head that comes down. We have a fixed shower head in our other bathroom. But we're going to be taking that chlorine out of our showers, and we're going to be taking that chlorine out of our drinking water. But we're also going to go a step further with our drinking water and with our cooking water. We're going to actually take a process of ozonation and a process of uh, UV light, and we're going to blend them together, we're going to oxygenate that water, if you will, and we're going to clean everything out of there that was in there with a one micron, uh, micron carbon filter. Now, that process is what most bottled water companies use. They are either ozonated uh, and along with, with UV light or do a reverse osmosis or some process like that. And when they do that, folks, they're purifying the water. The only problem with bottled bottle water companies is just like the, the city water system, when they run it through the pipes, by the time it gets here, you don't really know what's in it. We know for a fact that plastic off-gasses in the water, especially when it gets at high temperatures. So you don't know how long the water sat on the shelf. Why not just have a water purification system sitting right here at your own sink? Now, if you look right below me here on this page, you'll see 
two or three different kinds of water purification systems. One is a, uh, is, a, is a double canister, and another one is triple canister. And then we have one that does a whole house. And of course, we have the two shower heads, the handheld as well as the, the fixed. Keep this in mind and think about what I've just shared with you. And remember, here at EcoQuest, we have the most powerful water purification system available. I want to talk to you a little more about water. You know, we talked about the water, the city water, how it goes through the pipes and how the chlorine is in the water and it needs to be taken out, not to mention all the things that are picked up in the pipes. So we're going to talk a little bit now about bottled water. All of us have bought bottled water and we've, if you look on bottled water, it says right on there it's been either ozonated or reverse osmosis and usually UV has been applied to it, UV light to clean it, and then they microfilter it. The problem with bottled water is that it sits on the shelves sometimes. It's in trucks that are heated up. and They tell us that the plastic that the bottles are, are made of uh, off-gas into the water. Purify your water right at the very single time when you're getting ready to drink it at your faucet. Uh, the best time to take the chlorine out of the water is after it's already gone through the pipe. So basically what we're doing, we're purifying our water at the sink so that we know it's purified. The ozonation process is like 3,000 times more powerful than chlorine and it leaves no chemical residue. And then of course we microfilter it with a one micron carbon filter just before we put it to the glass. So uh, that's kind of what I wanted to share with you a little bit of right here about water is it's very possible that many of you are using chlorinated water right now to take your baths in. And remember, you saw our little test there. Uh, when you actually chlorinate water and uh, you put your body in it, your body's gonna absorb a lot of that chlorine that's happening every day with people who are taking showers. And we know that chlorine has trihalomethanes in it that are known to cause cancer. So we're just trying to tell you a little bit about our products. And you, as you'll notice down here on our page, we have the shower heads where you can, the handheld shower head that you can take the chlorine out of the water with, or the permanent shower head that'll take the chlorine out of the water. And then at the sink, we have the, the uh, ozonation and the uh, UV light process along with the one uh, micron carbon filter there. So we're taking and purifying the water at the sink and in the showers, or we can use, as you see on the very bottom of the page, the whole house system. The uh, spring house system purifies all the water coming into the house, even the water that you uh, water your plants with. So everything is purified with the whole house system. I'm gonna ask our, our, you to take a look at uh, this video below us. It's about our Ultra. Now, the Ultra is the most recent uh, addition to our water products. Uh, Mr. Mike Jackson, who is the CEO and Chairman of the Board of our company, is going to share with you some information about the Ultra. So if you would, be sure and view him down below here and uh, get in indoctrinated on a little bit on this new product. So we want to welcome you to all our water products and look forward to having you uh, acquire some of those through our websites and uh, look forward to serving you with the water products. Thank you.